Welcome to Killer Gameplays. This is the Crypt Part 1. First thing we do is slide down, pull up here at the end of this incline. There's a cage here we need to lift to pull a chain. And pulling that chain, we'll open this gate down here. But to raise the cage, we need to pull a jump switch that's kind of hidden up here. Get this ladder. There's the jump lever. And in this video, we'll be covering uh, the crypt part one and two. The next video will be still part of level seven, but it'll be back in the crypt where we have to finish up some stuff. And But uh, we can drop here, get this jump lever. Raise that cage. But this video here only has two secrets. So the next video in part two will have like five or six secrets, I think. And I'll show you what we're doing in just a minute. First thing we're going to do is slide down, get back to that cage we lifted, raised up, jump right here. Grab, pull up. <sighs> now we can open the gate to the main area. Go out here and get a cutscene of this area. It's a huge area. Check it out. Let's get these, this pick up here for flares. And just wanted to show you there's a couple of pickups down this way. Uh, there's a sword trap here though. We're going to spring that sword trap in a minute. So there's a pick up there. Uh, we're going to be in this area a couple of times. We're, there's two crystals we need. And uh, let's see here. Want to be over this way. Run, jump. This is the west side here. And we're going to flip up this way and get to a jump lever and spring this sword trap here so we can get down lower. Uh, we can get a pickup over this way, so let's get that. So, this video here, part one and two, is all about getting one crystal. And then the uh, the next video will be getting the other crystal, but it'll, it'll all be level seven. Um, 
so those other pickups we'll get next time we're through here this is a uh, little note telling you that the switch on the right is the expert route the way the switch to the left is pretty I've never tried it but it's supposed to be easy Of course, we're going to be doing the hard way and all secrets on every video. So this is the main room where the crystal is, of course, which is here. and. We need to race platforms to get it, but to do that we need to place two cogs. So the whole deal is getting getting two cogs, one for this side and one for this side. But to get to the place to to place the cogs, you have to go around this way, and we need to go this way anyway. So I'll just show you where the cogs go while we're over here. Uh, this way off to the right is where one of them goes. You can monkey swing across the ceiling, but this one goes here. So there's a right and left passage. We're going to swim over to the left one now. Uh, let's get these pickups first. And what we need to do next is open this gate over here. And by the way, you can get air. There's air pockets on each side. And we'll pull up here. There's a, a hole we can reach in that will trigger that gate to open. So what I did, I blind played this a couple of times, um, and the third time I pretty much had it memorized. So this is the fourth playthrough, and I figure out everything on my own, unless I get stuck on a secret I can't find. In other words, I'm not looking at somebody else's walkthrough. Uh, we got this sword trap that'll come down. We're safe in the corners. And we need to go to each corner. To these holes. There's two more over here. And this will drop a gate behind us. A hatch. So we'll duck in here. Uh, there's a sword trap with a hall hallway. So we're going to time the blades out, let them go to the right. And get over here to the switch. It's going to open a door to the right at the end of the hallway. Get 
these flares and head out this way. Head into this main room and we're going to shoot these knights. One there, one over here. Try to point out key things as we go. We're going to need a gold key down here to open this door. And I know this is kind of a dark level. I'll try to keep the flare lit, but sometimes when she's climbing ladders, it messes her up. So I'll do the best I can. We're going to run, jump forward, swan dive over this banister. And we've got a time run for this gate over here. So we're going to pull the switch, kind of run off this way, grab this block, tap forward, run and jump, get in the gate. Uh, this hole here, we can get a small med kit. And now we're in this main hub of the room. If you look here, here's the gold key, and there's one of the cogs, one of two that we need there. And we'll go to the only switch that, that we can push. The other two switches are backwards at this point. And head into this room with, uh, there's a couple of gates we need to open. There's gates in the water. There's a secret down here. We need to get over to the left here and push the switch. There's some pretty epic levels in this game, a bunch of them, and that lowers the gate. This is one of them. That's a really cool level. So you want to get in the corners here, or she'll over, if you land in the water, um, you can get back out of the water, but it's better not to. And we'll go this way. This is the gate that lowered. And activate this hole. That opens both gates. So I believe those poles we just went across go back in, head into this next area. So we'll have to extend those again, or at least one of them. Here's a fire we need to extinguish and a lever. We need to go in the left side here because there's a block uh, that's blocking the other passage. Get around this flame. Keep in mind this flame, once we extinguish it, we'll be uh, activating a the hole there. Push the 
this little half block all the way around to the plane. Stuck in the block. So you want to step up on the left side where the flames aren't blowing wild on the blue side. Then we can turn around, grab up higher. We're getting to a jump lever that will lower those swords back in the main room. We're just going to drop over here. Now this jump switch has a sword trap above it. So we want to quickly pull it. Mm, they don't actually come down and, and hurt her though. Now we can climb this back wall. And uh, climb up and around around these uh, slanted blocks and get back up Okie doke. So we'll go back to this hole and uh, get on the side of the flame that's not blowing wild. Get on the blue side, the right side. Hit the roll button here and action. And we can get to that lever where the swords were. This is just a big circle here, this hallway around this flame. So now the flame would be extinguished where we push that little block in. This is important if you want the secrets, all the secrets. We need to push this forward. And activate this hole to drop a gate, underwater gate. And I'll show you, you go back around this way leads to the same room. So we're going to climb up so high and backflip. You have to be up high enough or she won't she won't backflip right. And there's a couple of pickups here. Let's drop down and get them. <laughs> drop back down. Get away from this switch because it'll keep you from jumping up on the block. So that was the middle floor. We need to get up to the top floor. Mm. 
we came in the bottom floor. So let's see what we got going on here. There's a jump lever. Uh, over here, some pickups I'll show you. Let's see how the poles had uh, retracted. Okay, these pickups here. So that let out one. That's going to help us out here. Just jump back to the chain. Get back down to the bottom. <gasps> and this is one of those triangle tiles here. You have to get right in the corner to do a curve jump to get this pole. I'm saving. Let's see how she does. Up. So sometimes you got to force around the corner like this a little bit. And then that'll work. Swing forward to this left side. And we can swim through. There's a like a hidden area we can swim through here. More corner tiles. We need to jump over to the right. Oh. Mess me up there. All right, let's try this again. There we go. So let's see what's up here. All right, so we can get to these pickups that we're on. We were on the other side of this cage here just a second ago. Now we can get these pickups. How many flares? I meant to check. We got 413 flares. I meant to check that a couple of levels ago. We got plenty of flares. And we'll drop down here. Back into that same room. That's just a way to get those extra pickups. So we were <clears throat> just got done with this room across the way here. Over there. Now we're going to go into this other gate that opened. And there's going to be a gnarly sword trap in here. So what you want to do is just time them out and just run forward. Don't sprint. to get around to another hole to activate it. This is kind of tricky here. Let's see if I can do it first try. Oh shoot. Give it another try. Just gonna run, run tightly around this hallway here. Whoa. Just barely made it. This will turn every other sword trap off. make things a little easier. Alright, let's slide down here, see what this next area is. Gonna run jump here. All kinds of tricky corner tiles and stuff to mess you up. thing to save here. We're going to jump, shimmy over, and just side flip here. Another corner tile we're going to 
Run, jump, grab the sedge. Alright, here we have to jump from kind of like from corner to corner. Let's step up to the front edge. Line this up. There's one tile you can land on there. And then we need to jump off to the right. Oh, now she's stuck. And climb up these pillars. There's a break in the pillar, so you have to jump from there. Up here we have the ghost of Sir Lancelot. Kappa. It's just some kind of ghost knight or zombie knight up here. And uh, he needs to help us bust these bases because there's a pull chain in the middle of them. So we'll wait till it gets close and duck. Mm, need to do that two more times. Skulking about. Skulking around the corner. Creepy. Alright. Move out of its way. There we go. That's the way to do it. Wait till he gets ready to swing and then just get out of his way. Creepy. Okay, so we need to pull all three of these chains. Each one of them does something different. That'll raise one of those underwater uh, gates. And this will raise, raise the cage on the gold key. <laughs> so you can grab the cog here without the swords impaling you. But that's all you can grab at this point. Doesn't really matter. We're fixing to spring this, this sword trap. So we're going to head back into this first room that we were just at. Get in the water and get this first secret. Over here to the right is where we lowered this uh, hatch at. And we can get the musket gun. Uh, fancy name for a shotgun and some wide shot normal flares in a med pack other map pack and get some air there's another lever in there that will open this gate straight ahead uh, there's where we can pull a ceiling switch to reverse one of those levers back in the lever room 
But it's on a timer, so you want to be quick. There's more ammo in the corners, we'll get that. Pull the sealant switch. Come on, Laura. You'll push the switch that reversed. So, in this area, we can spring that sword trap where the gold key is. There is a sword trap right here. Just Swim low, you'll miss him. Pull up, backflip, jump forward, grab the chain. Nice. So now we can get the gold key. Oh. So let's see what we do next. Next we are headed back to that where that long sword trap was down the hallway. We made it a little easier. Got to every every other sword going. We'll sprint right here. There we go. And we're back in this main room. I wanted to check over here for pickups. I think we're good. Okay, no pickups over here. So now that we got the gold key though, we can get on the ground and open that, that door. Uh, think of this area here as, as your quick way up. Pull this lever and it'll, it'll shoot us to the top. We'll be using that a few times. Watch the cutscene. You see the cog tied to the chandelier. We need that. this main area we're going to need some explosive materia uh, place them and then we need four of them to get that chandelier to lower so we can get the cog so next thing we'll be working on is getting the four explosive materia keep in mind this area here with this block have to swing forward to get to the other steps. <laughs> so 
so we'll be headed to the left here in just a second. I wanted to show you something over here though. We got the second and final secret over here through this gate. Right there. And over here is going to be our way back to the room with the crystal where we first started. That's going to be our quick way back. But we'll go ahead and get going on getting the four explosive material. some more musket ammo. The red are normal, the blue are wide shot. And we'll head down this way. So there's currents down here and some, some of the hallways head off this way get a few pickups and get the explosive material one so this one was pretty easy to get but the next three are not so easy. We're going to drop in here, get to a ceiling switch right here to the right. Get a cutscene of the next thing we need. it's at. So we'll take a right after you pull the ceiling switch and we have to swim against the current here. further than you need and turn get up this way pull this switch and uh, we need to do a, a half tile jump here to grab this edge so we just got the cutscene we know where we need to go we're going to go up the hallway here and around the corner to where that little block is I pointed out. Pull it back. And we need to get up on the corner of it. Sometimes she can be a little buggy with this. She wants to push it. There we go. Get angled. We're going to run and jump, grab the ceiling. That little cutscene we got with the blue jewel is right here. We need this 
uh, <gasps> elemental stone here. To place in a receptacle. As soon as we grab it, we'll get another cutscene. There's a fire tile here that will deactivate. After we pull the lever. And another fire puzzle area to get the next explosive material. So we got a wraith on our butt. We're gonna run through this cave here. Run and jump up here. Get to the top of this cage above the water. And turn, I like to save here. swim into this area here. This will freeze the water. So we need to quickly flip around. And we'll go through here and swim to the right. And to the right again. This is that fire tile. And we need to turn a flame off in here. So we're gonna drop over to the left and do this little fire puzzle. And get that other pickup we need. So if we pull this pipe back, it will emit the fire behind us. divert it over to the right. We're going to push this one forward and divert the fire out of the way so we can use this handle lever. This seesaw is a block. Let's get this second materia. need to divert this fire as well so we're going to push this on that block that seesaws go pull the lever again raise it up and we're actually going to raise this center pillar too to help us in the next room This will turn the flames off on the block above. <laughs> so now we can go back into that other room we swam into. off into the water. Now the flames are out on top of the block so we can stand up here. Jump forward, pull this chain, raise the block in the room where we were just at. It's going to raise to the left.
So now we got something to stand on where we can get up higher. So whenever we climb this ladder, we're going to place one of these elemental emblems. There's only two of them. So we'll place the first one. And that will freeze the water. in that pool. Need to get down this way. The other way is too high up. So back to the room with the slanted walkway and we can pick up another materia. This is the third one. Uh, there's a switch in here we can get to. It's going to complete a monkey swing. Back in that room where we got the blue, the elemental emblem we just picked up, there's another one in there. That monkey swing is going to help us do it. So back to this little half block here. Get angled, run jump, grab the ceiling. Now we can monkey swing across. When we grab this other emblem, uh, there'll be a fire wraith released and if he touches you about three or four times it'll catch you on fire so we need to avoid him uh, by the way you want to be on the right or left when you grab that edge check her health get a save <sighs> See if we can do this first try here. All right. So we need to run to the middle of this room, jump over to the walkway, then we're going to take that same path. Uh, drop here. Get to the top of that cage in the water. Same path as before. Flip here, get a save. <coughs> now we can pull this lever. Fire Wraith is dead. Take this same path. Second right. Back to this room here. Get the chain. And we're going to head back up and place this one. <laughs> Elemental emblem. Looked to me like one was fire, one was ice. This should cause the fourth uh, explosive materia to appear. Uh, 
we can grab the sailing here. Sometimes she's a little buggy on it. Yeah, she's not going to do it. Let's just walk forward. Jump and grab the ceiling. Get even and drop, grab, pull up. Place it. Yep, there's the last one. So now we can head to the chandelier room. that last cog we need so let's head that way I guess it's important to note that this is the the expert way challenge whatever uh, if you went the other way it's probably a whole lot easier less involved <laughs> but where these cages are if you take a right you can always get back to the chandelier room and let's start placing this explosive material. It's going to explode these little pods, and uh, each one's going to drop the chandelier each time so we can get to it. Right now, it's too high. So there's one there, one here. Now this will open the gate. But we can go ahead and get a uh, pickup over here. We gotta go down one level anyway. But there's the cog we need tied to the rope on that chandelier. So what I like to do, go ahead and grab this. Then we'll we'll wheel drop down. Let her hands get by the edge. There you go. And we're going to go back down to the ground and use that quick way up again. Let's see where my door is at. So we need to get down one level, one floor, this gate that opened. We're, we're back where we were. Just need to drop here. Oh, there's a ladder there. I missed it. And place this other two explosives. The other one's on the other side.
might remember the other gate closed up above. We can go around to this uh, entrance here, grab the ladder, use that gate to climb on up. And what we're doing now, uh, we need a torch to burn the rope where the chandelier is. Over here we have a room full of torches. Just take your pick. So we're going to get uh, kind of offset to the right here. Uh, pull the guns. She'll drop it in the middle. Go over here and pull this lever to drop the gate where the torch will land on the chandelier. And go over here and push a block, one of these little half blocks. And we'll drop down. So the chandelier, it's hard to see, hard to tell where to stand. Like if you go too far, I'll show you right here. It looks like you can stand there, but you can't. So you need to kind of stay in the middle. First we'll find this torch that dropped. Where's it at? There you go. Now use a candle to light it. And we want to run and jump to this ledge over here. This lower ledge. You know, stand right at the pole, jump, throw the throw the uh, torch, run and jump. I'll just do a half tile jump. There we go. So the cog is on the floor. Let's my wheel drop here. Get back down. All that to get two cogs. Where's this cog at? Nice. And we'll get a screenshot of the the main room. The first room where we started all this at. We're gonna use the quick way up again. I have no idea if this is the proven walk through way to do things, but it's what I figured out, so. And it works just fine for me. So we'll head back over to the right corner. And uh, get back on these stairs. Take a right where the cages are, and we're going to follow this hall all the way, all the way around. Back to where I showed you earlier where the second secret is. That's going to be our quick way back to the cogs room. I'm not even sure what the any other way to get back would be. So we'll 
drop here and boom we're right back where we need to be main room crystal uh, let's go back in the water where we can place these cogs where I showed you at the front of the video we'll do the one to the left first See which side it is here. It's not this side, it's over here. Uh, there's a break in this wall, so you have to backflip, hit a slope, and jump up higher. number one. Got the cogs rolling on that side. Uh, let's see where I'm going here. Nope. Swim straight across this hallway. Like I said, we can monkey swing across this ceiling. All right, we'll get a cutscene here of the platforms raising where the crystal is. So that uh, explosion there caused an avalanche where we can get the final secret in this video. See the rocks here. Go around the corner though, and we can jump up this way. Oh, let me light a flare so I can see better. And here we go. Final secret for the video. Like I said, level 7 continues in the next video. So we won't get a uh, symbol for completed secrets until we finish that. So all that's left to do is get up these platforms, get the crystal, and get, uh, get the door open up above. <laughs> pretty epic level to begin with and like I said this is just one of the crystals 
still need another one. But that's about it for this uh, section of the level 7. We wrap it up, put a bow on it. It's done. Hope everybody enjoyed the video. Come on back. Uh, most of the videos from here on, on out are going to be long and pretty epic. So, hope to see you on the next video. And uh, be sure to give it a thumbs up. See you next time. You watch Killer Gameplays. Hope everybody has a great day. Stay safe. See you next time. Take it easy.